garden update. The beans are really taking off. This is wild. It's so cool to see everything so grown. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. The lettuce is also looking pretty good. It's that lettuce I don't quite like the most, but that's okay. It's taking off quite a lot. We've got more tomatoes coming in. Like there's a bunch of little tomatoes there. Like I said, the beans are doing really well. The peppers are doing okay too. I'm seeing some flowers over there, which hopefully means some peppers coming through. And the cucumbers is always, <gasps> oh my gosh. We have our first nearly full grown cucumber. Wow, so exciting. I'm just so happy about the beans. So there's quite a lot of beans. Like that one I picked earlier was giant. Look at that one, it's huge. We have a pepper growing. Where is it? I just lost it, there it is. Cool. Okay, so one of my favorite ways to cook the flat green beans is to saute them up with some garlic as well as some vegetable broth. So first of all, you just start by cutting them all up so they're about an inch in length. Cook the garlic until it's fragrant and then you add the beans, saute them up until they're a little bit browned and then you add in some vegetable broth and you basically just cook the rest of the vegetable broth up with the beans and it makes them so flavorful and delicious. I highly recommend trying this recipe. It's really, really good. I've also been on a tea kick whether it's an iced tea or a warm peppermint tea at night i've just been loving having tea in the summer friday morning i had a dentist appointment so i decided to use my time wisely while i was waiting to make a return at lululemon and i actually ended up purchasing a new pair of pants so let me know if you want to see them in the next vlog after my appointment i met up with my mom for lunch i actually had to wait two hours because they put this like fluoride stuff on my teeth so we had to wait it out a little bit but it was totally worth it i got those tofu lettuce wraps and then we went shopping at struck cube because i really really want a green couch for the living room guys comment if you think I should get a green couch I think we should because I think it would be so cute and so aesthetic in our living room Saturday morning we went to the Scottish festival and it was so much fun there were so many vendors I actually got my mom a birthday present so mom if you're watching this um you didn't see anything Sorry. or hear anything <laughs> Steve. Yeah, that's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> that's huge. Look at it. It has a shark gummy in it, doesn't it? What? Doesn't it have a shark gummy in it? It's supposed to, does it? Oh yeah, he's down at the bottom. Can I see? He's sucking it all up. Let's see it. Oh my gosh, cool. Wow. I hope it's good. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, it's heavy. Not only were the drinks giant at this restaurant, but we also got giant pretzels and the bowls were also super substantial and super delicious. Then we went to a bookstore after having lunch and when we got home, Steve actually went out golfing with his friends and I stayed home did some skincare and hung out with you guys. Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to the vlog. Today it is Sunday, July 21st and it's actually not the morning anymore. I guess it's noon, so I've been taking it slow this morning to say the least. Stephen is currently working in the garage and then later in the afternoon he's going golfing, but I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare. Um, we just spent the morning eating breakfast and chilling and I've been doing some laundry and while I've been doing laundry, I've been watching American Nightmare and oh my gosh, this is the most gripping docuseries I've watched in a really long time. Crazy, I think the girl involved in everything that happened was actually on one of the Alex Cooper Call Her Daddy interview episodes. So I'm gonna watch that after as well. But like I said, I'm gonna do some skincare and then I'm gonna paint my nails with the new Essie nail polish that Essie sent me. I'm really excited to use it because you guys know I love Essie. I literally talked about Essie hard to resist nail strengthener in the last vlog. And you guys know I've worked with Essie in the past and I love, 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 love Essie. So yeah, I'm just going to do some skincare first. We stayed up late watching Fifty Shades. <laughs> 
And then we also watched some house, so that was fun. Fun night to spend. Fun way to spend Saturday night is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to use this Daily Glow cleansing gel from the body shop. I cleaned up a bit last night as well and worked on my vlog last night, so it should be out today, but yeah, I just wanted to hang out with you guys on Sunday since Steve's going to be leaving this afternoon to go golfing. I figured what better thing to do than spend time with you guys, and it's beautiful out as well, so I might actually paint my nails, do some laundry, and sit outside for a little bit. Maybe I'll even go into town, grab a nice coffee, I don't know. I want to stay outside in some capacity today, so maybe I'll even just go to the beach. I think you left. Okay, I just quickly changed. I always feel more motivated if I at least get into like some athletic wear, even if I'm just staying around the house, just because then I'll be like, oh, I feel like I could go for a walk or run or do a workout. And even if I don't, then at least I got changed in the day and I didn't just stay in my pajamas. Although I do love staying in my pajamas for a prolonged period of time. So I'm the first to admit I have spent many days in pajamas before. <laughs> so now that my skincare is done, I'm gonna do my nails. And like I said, I'm gonna use the new Essie nail polish that you sit that they sent so let's go so i should probably do my nails in somewhere that's a little bit more outside because i tend to have a pretty strong reaction to nail polish i just find the smell of it and inhaling it makes me feel a little dizzy so this is the package that they sent me and i showed you guys in the last vlog i believe or maybe this one but I'm super excited oh try it what have i done come on there we go super excited to try it it came with one two three four five six seven eight nine colors as well as the Essie on a roll apricot cuticle oil so i'm very excited to use that they also sent tools which i definitely need and they also sent little appliques for nails and i don't know really what kind of nails i want to do but this color is definitely calling to me this purpley special effects nail color so i might do this on top of a color. I really like this one too. I don't really know what to use. Nail liqueur. It's really unique. And the pink as well. And honestly, you can never go wrong with a neutral. So I don't really know what color to pick. There's too many choices. I want to do something fun as well. Like the appliques that they sent have little bows and flowers. And they also sent a bag of little sparkles, which is so fun and so cute. So I'm gonna dazzle my fingernails. Maybe I should do like a pretty pink themed ballet core pair of nails. I think I'll do that. So this is before. Okay, so these green beans are still going really strong. Some of them I'm going to have to harvest tonight for dinner likely. And there's still little ones, but we've got like these giant ones. So I'm gonna come out here and harvest them later. The lettuce is definitely overgrowing, so I'm gonna harvest this as well. It's not the tastiest lettuce, but it's something. And the tomatoes are looking good. This one has something eating it, I think, so that's not great. But the pepper is looking good over here. This is just a regular pepper, and then we also have the hot peppers. And that one's coming in pretty decently. You can kind of see it there. And the cucumbers, as always, are doing really well. The cucumbers always do really well in our garden. And I think I have another almost nearly full-grown one. So I'm just gonna water the garden quickly and then paint my nails because it's nice out, isn't it, Elsa? Like I said, I decided to do my nails outside and literally after being outside for about five minutes, my iPhone started to overheat. So I took the nail painting back inside, took Elsa inside, it was getting pretty hot and I didn't want to get sunburned and I didn't want her to overheat. So we went back inside, I finished my nails. Let me know what you guys think. I really like the pink colors and I love the appliques and the special effects that they also sent in this kit. So let me know what I should do next. And I currently have a black set of nails on right now, or at least I painted my nails black. I didn't put a set on, I just painted them black with the darker color in the kit as well and I'll show you guys in the next vlog because I've been having a lot of fun painting my nails and being a nail artiste and then I went for a run tell me what possessed me to go for a run guys I haven't been for a run in years but I'm so happy I went because I got to see this artwork by the water and it was so gorgeous outside and Elsa loved it as well <sighs> all right I just came back from my first run and like, I don't remember the last time I did a run like that. So I'm gonna roll out my muscles because I know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna finish a fitness plus workout as well, or at least start one, I mean, not finish. I'm gonna try one out. So yeah. My new Apple Watch gave me a few months free of the Apple Fitness Plus app and I decided to go ahead, bite the bullet and use it and build a plan. And actually guys, it's been super, super helpful in keeping me motivated, keeping me on track towards my fitness goals, which my fitness goals, honestly guys, are very flexible, no pun intended, but my fitness goals are very flexible. I really just want to move my body 
in a cardio way, like two or three times a week because my cardio has been lacking and in a strength way, another two or three times a week. So I want to just work out or at least move my body maybe five or six times a week. Again, nothing crazy, mostly flexibility related stuff, but yeah. So after getting back from lunch, it actually ended up pouring rain, which was perfect because all I wanted to do was have a rainy day where I stay inside and basically do nothing. But the little voice inside my head was saying, Jasmine, let's be a little bit more productive than absolutely doing nothing. So I decided to do a bit of a ballet class. And actually these are the pants that I was going to show you guys earlier. These are the studio pants and I just got them in a size smaller than the last ones. And they're not the cargo version, unfortunately. I just find that the cargo pants at Lululemon fit quite large which is great because there's lots of storage for things because they have lots of pockets, but I also just need pants to wear to dance class every day. And I just felt like I was wearing a set of balloons. They were just honestly too big. I feel like I was about to take off and land somewhere far away. <laughs> but like I said, I got these studio pants and they're really comfy, they're really smooth, they're really flattering, and I'm really happy with the purchase slash exchange. But anyways guys, this brings me to the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it's pretty short, but let me know in the comments down below whatever you wanna see next. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now.